Well, here it is. I've not exactly got it set up to show off different shapes or anything like that. Well, first of all, apologies for the noise. Sounds like the chainsaws are out. A lot of fallen trees over the last couple of months here at this area, at my local woods. So there's a lot of drilling, chainsawing, or whatever it is behind me, so I hope it doesn't take up too much of the noise. Second thing, I've got a brand new GoPro camera which arrived. I've got a few accessories it's inside. But the SD card that I've had all along which works great with my phone and things keeps coming up with an error even though I've had a couple of recordings on it. So I actually had this place bare and I was videoing away set it all up in that, with the idea that I had of the voiceover with my microphone in the house because of the waterproof skeleton case, you can't hear me didn't work, so I'm back to my phone <laughs> you still have to wait a little bit longer till I get those better videos out anyway, in the meantime I've got it set up there it is it's not exactly the way I'm going to be having it when I'm getting out my hammock camping or things like that. I just wanted the ridge line and a couple of the, the knots at each side. And then I wanted to just put an extra wee bit of paracord on a couple of the corners just to get an idea. Obviously as time goes on when I've got the hammock camping out and things, this will change. I give an extra bit extra paracord. This is probably the biggest size of trees I'd like to find for my hammock. So I used them as the guide. Plus I more or less doubled a little bit back to here with the excess cord again. Just to make sure I've got plenty there if I ever had to need it. Yeah, nothing fancy guys. I've had this up for the first time now today. But I've had the tarp since Christmas, it was a Christmas present. This is me just getting it up. I bought the skin myself, which is down here. I'm starting to think I should have got the large one because that's what I got with the other 3x3 three three meter tarp. The brown one I've got, the Coyote Brown. But uh, I hope this will be okay. I've seen a video with DD Hammocks how. The man actually folds it away off the ridge line. It's a little bit more work and time consuming, a couple of minutes, but it still seems to get back in the original pack of the bag. But the snake skin hopefully will be okay. Now it's just a little time to relax and chill. I'm sure you know what these self tensioning nuts are. Got one at each side. Because with the DD hammock, the DD hammock's tarp here, the 3 by 3 meter, the 3 in the centre, obviously it'll loop over perfectly, but the ones at the end, these face a different way. They'd be more suitable, obviously, for going along rather than coming through this way. So, you have to improvise with your knots. It's the first time I've done them, one at the other side as well. It's the first time I've done them in over a year since I first set up my other tarp. Two years in fact. And the rest of my stuff there. Like I say guys, just a quick video for an excuse to get down the woods and give it a shot. I've had it since Christmas. 
This is me first getting it out, and I don't usually like to leave things that long, I like to test it all first, make sure everything's okay, in case I need to get in touch with any of the manufacturer, but so far everything seems fine from what I can see, and I love the, the blending in of the, the woods, I really like it. No, I need to just put a tree branch in, I've not even used the pegs, I just wanted to see what it's like getting that up, and uh chill her out for a little bit. Truly is the life. I could be doing a wee bit of rest time outside by now. Since coming back from Aaron with Eddie, Scott's wild camper, I developed a really bad cough on the way home. And it's been with me ever since, even though it's clearing up a little now, a whole week later. I've got an appointment on with the doctor. I noticed I had about eight bites on my right leg. And now I'm catching the cold after the cough, which still is irritating my throat. So, I'm due to check up anyway. Just hope it isn't the ticks. <laughs> Let's go and test it out and see how it blends in from from a distance. Try and get a few different angles for it. Can you still see it? <laughs> I'm up here from a hundred feet. And from the other end. How about now? Unless you were looking for it, I might just sneak in there and without anyone knowing. I think if I had it down low to the ground like the Army Basha model pictures show, and a lot of those rough leaves even round about it, it'd be all the better. Anyway, first time getting it up to make sure everything was okay. I'm delighted with it. More amendments to come and then I'll get it out with the hammock for a camp soon so thanks for watching guys